you know when the acrobatic show is on as i told you there are many forms there are traditional futuristic acrobatic kung fu and uh, pure classic art format so when they do usually the hall is full i never seen in my uh, experience of seeing the acrobatic show any time when i went as a tour leader ever that the hall is half or empty of few people you could see many times when we have certain shows i mean it is not full only during the peak season it may be full because somehow you feel that it is something very strategic and when someone is concentrating concentrating from the very beginning of life stage and they become a fantastic practitioner so the perfect practice is something which is a perfect standardized result the traditional acrobatic shows are abundant including the balance on a high pole jumping through the hoops the hand feats the rope walking turning of a fish into a dragon swallowing nice etc is something really great to see and uh, watch of as is the chinese acrobatics has been praised as a pearl of oriental art because the acrobatic show is combined on the base of dance and opera arts compositions stage design costume light and sound and with the development of the world economic the acrobatic show was also developed into a kind of performance art well known throughout the world and people from europe and america when they come to china they never go without an acrobatic show in their itinerary not one they go to many theaters some of them would be the same somewhat but still they enjoy watching it they take the videos they go back they try to perform at the place though they may not be successful because something you start at the age of 3 or 6 to 7 years and you go on till 40 years is something which you cannot do it in one overnight it also should have you know the musical company and the props and lighting to be improved every time and uh, it's a comprehensive stage art and you know often there are more than 100 members in one theatrical show with various shows and such there are more than 100 troops throughout china so that itself is a, a huge income for china and uh, they are the heavy peak seasons are from the month of uh, uh, march march onwards till october so then even november december january february march also again they have the uh, season but that's basically in beijing etc it's a cold season but they still they make it there is nothing that they as i told you very very disciplined people they are as you watch the show you can feel even the youngest child the smallest one how uh, well and so fast they are so accurate you can see that there is no missing a part unless you have this kind of an experience you know and see their uh, body uh, structure <laughs> the strategy of the body because they also have to go with a great discipline in eating the movement they cannot have uh, you know uh, they watch uh, the uh, mobile network till 12 o'clock and then uh, they sleep at 1 o'clock and come the next day see the very many types see the last one see how they taken the last one <laughs> so you would not remember what happened they just passed so the next one is come see the time is just very well adjusted and kept it up it just seen in a different version and the third version has come of the same because the graduating from day one this not that just one practice and keep it there on the top of it they graduate so as he is working on it they are showing something else so our mind goes over there our focus goes over there so we uh, do not 
look for the negativity we always anxiously look for the positivity quite a good uh, chinese uh, music is played along with it unfortunately i'm not able to give the music because when i put the original music uh, the copyright claim comes in the google so i am giving the walk a talk <laughs> so that you know you are able to enjoy the show and show is basically of course the music is very good a company you can see the you had seen in the previous one something like this in a different format so they keep you know upgrading themselves in their own play very young girl see how well she has shown imagine it is so difficult for us to uh, just to lift such a thing as it is then then the legs alone uh, lifting in the 180 degree is just difficult and the clothes are a very important factor see very anxious moment see my goodness gracious she has made a 360 degree turn and here she is very gracefully completed the job how fell she is balancing it up oh god fantastic just imagine to reach to this stage this girl would have sacrificed her whole life till now dedication integrity remaining with the same troop the troop also to make sure she would have gone through with injuries probably and they had to have special medicines special food they can't eat what they love to so they are very engaged of the children you tell them not to eat that not to do this do this it's very tough sum and the costume plays a very important role and the and the product you know the product also is very important see these kind of tools when they use it that has to look good and this all glass items it might break see through items one can see it see so well she is doing it absolute concentration something really great my she has put both the feet both the arms and she is look she is spinning in 360 degree and a good speed not that so light then see the light so when you have the light and sound show absolute attention not point uh, 0.0001 also they cannot change the attention <clears throat> you can see the beautiful light playing behind but let me tell the chinese you know they really have good concentration see the single government for so many years that itself is a great uh, economical benefit now when you have so many political parties playing looking for winning every term a uh, huge expenses they also incur in our land i think we must reduce the political parties to a minimum of uh, two or three having so many political parties and and afterward they join with another main party and also uh, the host trading that takes place in between this all give a lot of problems uh, to the public actually this money has to go where the money all has to come from within our country within the same earth all these are produced by our own earth which we often forget so this is how you have enjoyed you have heard about the hall of china 
Beijing, Shanghai, there are many other places like Chengdu, uh, Zhuzhou and Canton and uh, Yangzhou and so many places including Tibet is part of China today and even the, the, the beautiful fantastic palace which the Dalai Lama was living, something really a great memorial is it is. Even that is now captured by China and even we cannot enter to, to those places. Thank God we are able to see our God uh, Shiva in Kailas. Now today is the last episode as I said to you. Uh, please watch it. In the meanwhile, I also would like to mention or explain you the basic visas for the China. Now many people do not know what documents one require the problems of China visa. There are two ways to apply for the China visa. One is to apply for a group visa. Okay. The other one is to apply the individual visa with the group uh, formation uh, technique. Now when you apply for the individual visa, you have to apply it in Delhi. We don't have the consulates anywhere else in uh, India. You have to send all the documents to Delhi and Delhi then you have to go through VFS because if we send the documents, we do not know whether they received it or not received it. Therefore, it is little volatile to uh, do it on the uh, courier basis. We have to submit the documents to the agent in Delhi and they had to go and take an appointment. Now this appointment costs something between, uh, of the record actually, 2000 to 3000 to get the appointment. Then there is the visa fees. Now then they submit and you get the documents within 5 days to 7 days. At times it could go even further more time. We cannot predict. And you cannot submit the documents so many days in advance for the visa. For example, if you are going on a group tour in the month of March, say by 20th, uh, you have to apply at least only in 15 days time. You can't apply one month before and get the visa. Yes, individual visa you can do, but not the group, for the group tour. Now, when you apply uh, this visa, you have to give the passports, original passports, minimum validity is six months, and then you have to get the, uh, the six months uh, bank statement and you should have minimum one and a half lakh per person the uh, amount in the savings account not current account again not current account it is savings account minimum one and a half lakh per person which means if you are husband wife and two children four people are traveling then you have to have one and a half one and a half one and a half one and a half total how much six lakhs of rupees so this way you can also give different bank account, no problem. You can't give 20,000, 10,000, 3,000 and all. Should have in one bank minimum of one and a half lakh amount. So that makes it about the amount required. Then you cannot take the money out before the visa comes. Got to wait. Any visa, when you submit the documents, you have the minimum requirement as per the, uh, the, the, the stipulant uh, amount then you cannot remove it in between unless the visa paper, the visa you get in hand. Now you have to be careful when you submit the documents with the information. You have to have the paid hotel voucher for the visa with the consulate. That is, if you are going to China for one week tour, the correct flight ticket we require. The, you know, the correct flight ticket means you got to pay the full money to get the flight ticket confirmed group ticket. It cannot be just a reservation. And on top of it, you have to have a confirmed hotel voucher, the, your name and your passport number and date of issue and place of issue must have in the Chinese hotel's letterhead. So you know, unless you pay this money for the tour, the hotel accommodation for the number of days, you can't get this. So once you pay, you don't get the money back from China, which is a very important thing which everybody should know. Also. The agent must give another letter that they have received the payment and they have confirmed all the sightseeing for this many days tour in China. So that makes means you have 50 percent to 75 percent cost of the tour which you are supposed to pay is already done. For the real reason if you don't get the visa or some other problem it's big difficult to get the refund then. Even you can't even replace another person because it is always the information will come the last minute about one week or even two days prior to departure. So it is very important that we be prepared for the visa, we be prepared for the a tour and the tour cost is very important fact at that time. 
and then we also have to have the minimum of fog exchanges available and we have to have a covering letter from our side, from the customer's side that this is the, I'm traveling, I'll have this much amount, etc. And what they are doing, are they having business or not having business, are they working, what are the income they are generating every month, How, what are the family circumstances, this we have to give a letter. Plus, we have to give another confirmation letter and an authorizing letter that we are responsible to bring this passenger back. This is another problem we have to do. And then, with that, we submit the whole documents. Now, the collection is only on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. You can't get the documents in between. So, you have to submit on a Friday, then you may get only the next Friday. Or you submit on Monday, you may get Friday or the next Monday. They take minimum five days, but it can go to more timings also. So this is how the China visa has to be submitted. Now that is for Delhi. Now you also have another way. That is when you submit the documents, not here, abroad. That is with the agent abroad. The one who is giving the tour to you, whom you are confirming the tour. With all the hotel accommodation, sightseeing, everything is confirmed by him. Now he cannot submit it uh, more than two weeks prior to arrival. When he submitted, we have to give the complete list. Full payment of the tour has to be paid to him. And they submit in Shanghai. Only in Shanghai and even if they submit in Beijing, no problem. But the passengers must arrive in Shanghai, not in Beijing. So the tour has to go the reverse way. Because for the people arriving in Beijing, they cannot get this, apply this group visa. It has to be arrival in Shanghai. Now, Shanghai you go, then you come out from Beijing. Now, there is another important fact which we, the people who are traveling, must remember. When any tour operator, whenever they are applying for the visa, uh, if you are coming from Shanghai to Macau, you got to show minimum 750 American dollars cash in hand. Not credit card is not enough, or debit card not enough, or American Express card not enough. You got to have the cash, literally liquid cash in hand, of minimum 750 dollars for you to fly from Shanghai to Macau, otherwise they won't let you fly. You got to go from Shanghai by train or fly to some other area in China, from there they have to go to Macau. So this important factor many of us don't remember and after reaching in Shanghai, after all the shopping is done in China, you suddenly realize there is not enough money. Particularly when you have a family of four, you got to have about $3,000. <laughs> he may not have that much. Because this is the fact and of the journey of the tour. So this has to be very clearly uh, understood. And uh, so always better to make, first you go to Hong Kong, or Macau, or Bhut, then you go to Shanghai, then you go to Beijing, you come back. Now there has been uh, lately another important, uh, the worst problems, uh, that the difficulties, that is suddenly our uh, soldiers, uh, you know, as well as uh, Chinese soldiers get into tussles. So if that kind of thing gets into tussles, then the Chinese visa will not be granted, neither the group visa nor the individual visa. So these all are a very big tasks for a tour operator, a travel agent, and our public, our friends, our customers, our passengers, tourists must understand the difficulties the travel agent and the tour operator has to go through in getting, obtaining the visas. Without knowing, there is no point in saying I'll go to consumer forum or I'll go to police and I'll go to so and so. That's a real problem. So one is you must make sure you are going to the credible travel agent tour operator. Number one, experienced people who have been doing this part of the thing. And you should be clear in your mind, are you going as a tourist or are you going for some other business in China? You cannot uh, take a tourist visa and do business in China. You cannot take a tourist visa and do a treatment or education in China. You have to be very, very crystal clear. Any point of time they can check. And for the number of days you take the China visa, only for that many days you can stay in China. You cannot extend for one day also. The travel agent or the tour operator here will get into trouble. And the agent tour operator in China will get into trouble. And the Chinese government rules are very stringent, very strict and very much uh, one has to follow it up and abide by its rules and regulations. 
so please do not mistake you have to be very frank with your uh, tour operator or travel agent this is the reason i'm going not that you go on a visitor's visa then you convert that into business visa then you blame the travel agent that is not correct okay so with this i finished the china tour and thank you very much will uh, please wait for our next video which is going to be very soon coming thank you bye bye